So let's get started. In this video, we're going to discuss with you the questions of a passage which is called Reading in a Whole New Way. First, let's have a look at the questions because we know that questions are way more important than the text itself. In IELTS reading test, we should always pay, what, pay attention to what kind of questions you are given and how to solve them. First, we have multiple choice questions. And first question, what does a writer say about dictation? So keywords here, dictation and the writer say. So we need to find the word dictation from the passage. We don't need to read the whole text, we only need to find a relevant part in which they give some information about dictation. So as technology improves, how does the act of reading change? Okay, here is the beginning. I have already highlighted the necessary parts. Reading and writing, like all technologies, are constantly changing. In ancient times, authors often dictated their books. So here is the keyword, dictate. Dictation sounded like an uninterrupted series of words, so scribes wrote this down in one long continuous string, just as they occur in speech. For this reason, pay attention, here they are giving the result of what happened after, they, uh, after the influence of dictation. For this reason, text was written without spaces between words until the 11th century. So. The influence of the dictation was that they didn't leave any space between words in a text. Now let's have a look at the options and choose from the options. Question 1. Option A. It helped people learn to read? No, it's not given and this is not the correct answer. It affected the way people wrote? Yeah, somehow it's true because people didn't write with uh, leaving space between words. And the way people write change it because of dictation. It wasn't used until the 11th century out. Such an answer, such an opinion is not given in the text. It was used mainly for correspondence. No, so the only correct answer is here B. So I have chosen B option. Second question. According to the writer, what changed after the invention of the printing press? Keywords here after the invention of the printing press. Pay attention. You don't need to read and understand the whole passage. What you have to do is to read only the relevant part of the passage, which is about invention of printing press. So let's find from the text invention of printing press. It is given in the second paragraph I have already highlighted with the yellow color after Gutenberg's invention of the printing press. Here is printing press is given. In about 1440, mass produced books changed the way people read and wrote. The technology of printing increased the number of words available and more types of media such as newspapers and magazines broadened to what was written about. So I'm coming close to the correct answer. Authors no longer had to produce scholarly works as was common until then, but could write, for example, inexpensive, heart-rending love stories or publish autobiographies, even if they weren't unknown, they were unknown. So here's the interesting information is given. After the print, invention of printing press, mass production of books started and authors, they didn't have to produce only scholarly works, scientific pieces of writing but they had more choice they could start they could uh, start writing love stories autobiographies even they were unknown even though they were unknown now let's choose from the options so romans became more popular than serious fiction yes they give some information about love stories which started being published but they didn't say that it was more popular than serious fiction so this option is out Newspapers became more popular than books. No, in the text, well, there isn't any comparison between newspapers and books. That's why this answer also will be eliminated. Readers asked for more autobiographies. Well, we have some information about autobiographies and they said publishers or writers started writing autobiographies, but we don't have any clue as to readers started asking about it. The option. Authors had a wider choice of topics. That's the exactly correct answer which we need because the text says now the writers had 
different things to write about love stories, autobiographies because of the mass publication of books. The correct answer D. In the third paragraph, the writer focuses on the. So what does the writer fox on the third paragraph? Let's have a look at the third paragraph. Third paragraph starts from here. In time, the power of the written word gave birth to his idea of authority and expertise. Laws were compiled into official documents, contracts were written down, and nothing was valid unless it was in this form. Painting, music, architecture, dance were all important, but the heartbeat of many cultures was the turning pages of a book. By the early 19th century, public libraries had been built in many cities. So in general, this paragraph is about the importance of publications, importance of words being written on a book and being published. Now let's have a look at the options and choose one of them. Question three options. Legal concerns of authors. You know, we don't have any information as to legal worries of authors. No, they simply said they started writing laws, but we don't have any information about legal problems of authors. Rapid changes in public libraries, no, we don't have such information. They just said public libraries were opened, but they didn't say about rapid changes in public libraries. Growing starts of the written word, this is exactly the option which you need, because in the first sentence of the third paragraph, they said the written words became more important. Recognition of the book as an art form. No, they didn't say that the book became an art form. Simply, it was important in the cultures, in the popu uh, popularizing the cultures of different nation nations. Okay, question four. What does a writer say about screens in the fourth paragraph? So now I need to read fourth paragraph. Pay attention, the question already says which part of the text to read, so I don't need to read first, second, third, or fifth paragraphs. What I need to do is only to read the first paragraph and the information about the first paragraphs. So, screens written in the third sentence and fourth. So I will read from these parts. Screens fill our pockets, briefcases, cars, living room walls, and sides of buildings. So these are the examples of where we can find screens. We can find screen screens almost everywhere. Pocket, briefcases, car, living room, buildings, sides of the buildings, everywhere. They sit in front of us when we work, regardless of what we do. And of course, these new ubiquitous screens have changed how we read and write. So newly ubiquitous, it means which can be found everywhere. It means like screens now can be found uh, in different areas of our life, in different walks of life. So they're almost everywhere together with us. So let's choose from the options A1. They are hard to read. No, we don't have any clue about the difficulty of reading on the screen. They're bad for our health. Again, health is not mentioned at all. They can improve our work. Yes, in reality, in real life screens, they do improve our work, but in the fourth paragraph, it isn't mentioned. They can be found everywhere. That's the option which I'm looking for. That's the exact answer because they can be found ab almost everywhere, practically everywhere in our pockets, homes, workplaces, streets, everywhere. And it was emphasized in the paragraph. According to the writer, computers differ from television because they... So again, pay attention, keyword, computers differ from television because... So again, I need to, I don't need to read the whole text. What I need to is to find the relevant part of the text about televisions and computers and their differences and choose one option. Let's have a look at the part of the text about computers and screens. So it is given in the fifth paragraph. The first screens that overtook culture several decades ago, the big, fat, worm tubes of television, reduces the time we spent reading to such an extent that it seemed as if reading and writing were over. So when TV was invented, people started reading less. It's given here. Educators and parents worried deeply that the TV generation would be unable to write. So interesting. Uh, so they thought that people who watch TV a lot, they wouldn't be able to write. But the interconnected, 
cool thing displays of computer screens launched an epidemic of writing that continues to swell to swell it means to increase so computer screens they started an epidemic of writing and it's really increasing fast as a consequence the amount of time people spent reading has almost tripled since 1980 sorry so it means that when tv was invented people became lazy and they didn't read a lot but when computers were in invented they started writing a lot so computers differ from television because they encourage more reading well uh, close to the answer let's see the other options as well attract more criticism no it was a tv which attracted more criticism take up more of our leisure time no, leisure time is not mentioned. Let's see the last option. Included more educational content. No, we don't have any information as to the about the content of computers. So the only correct answer we have, this is option C. So that's all for multiple choice questions. Uh, thank you for watching. The next questions will be discussed in the other videos.